get stuck in then shall we so this is the bundle and <laughs> don't you just love these oh my days they are so cute they really are and they just they've got that fabulous little die with them as well so you can you can stamp a whole a whole lot out all in one go they are just fabulous i love these um this is the other little stamp set and these come with um matting and layering dies as well so you get the stamp and then you get two dies with each one and i've used this one on um on the card that well, one of the cards that i'm making today two i've already done and two i'm putting together today okay this stencil just goes with this perfectly i just think it's a fabulous little stencil it's just so useful then it's going to be it's going to be a fantastic background stencil for so many different things I, I can see me using this a lot then there's the little cover plate which i've used on one of my cards and then of course there's the fabulous game the die set now this little set is just brilliant and i would leave it in one because it comes in in one piece so those are your pieces and i would just leave it like that and run it through in different colors which is exactly what i've done if i show you all my little bits make sure i don't drop that look all my little bits that i've been cutting out can you tell what i was doing yesterday it's so it's so good it's got everything you need it's so compact it's brilliant it's absolutely brilliant so let's put those to one side put them over there now the first thing i'm going to do is put a set together okay and then i'm going to add it to the card base that i've done and then i'm going to do carter's birthday card okay so i won't show you the card base for it yet because i've been doing a little bit of um lisa stuff it, it will all become apparent when we get there so here's all my little bits that i'm going to need now yes it looks fiddly but it's only it's only as fiddly as the fact that they're small pieces it isn't really fiddly when you come to put it together um it, it's just it's, it's just it's just genius just genius now then when i've done these all i've done is cut the circle if i show you the the die set um these are the the back and the front for the little controllers on the on the handset okay so what i did was i cut it all out in one like i said and then i just cut some small pieces of white card and just cut these two and then all i've done is just divide the the white circle into four and color each each sort of quarter of that circle with a different color so that you've got the four colors that you would have on a controller um on a, on a proper sort of i don't know nintendo game boy whatever playstation i don't know um but it's just so quick and easy right so i'm going to put it all together and if i just show you as we're going along each little piece now when you cut it out don't throw anything away all right because you won't know until you've finished which pieces you're going to need and which pieces you're not going to need so like these little pieces here when you sort of cut it all out and you take it out of your die and you just put it on your on your working surface you'll think oh, i don't need them they're just extra little bits but they're not they're absolutely integral to the to the actual handset okay so first thing i'm going to do is add my little controllers down onto the onto the actual handset and like i said it's so easy to just get the colors behind the handset just by cutting your circles in white and then adding the gray back i mean you probably don't even need to add the the same color back that you've got on the front if you don't want to you could just leave it with the white card but i just wanted to finish it off so that it was a proper button um, and because i've got a piece of white card in the middle i've just gone all the way around the edge with um, a gray marker so that you can't see the white card okay so it, it's all the same color it's all gray and make sure you put them 
with the colours corresponding because that's what they look like on a proper on a proper handset how do i know that <laughs> so i've got four grandkids that's why right so next thing i'm going to do is add the little plus sign here um don't ask me what they all do i have no idea what they all do i just know they're all on there um because i've seen that many that i just know they're there so that's going in the middle and you'll notice I'm adding them all down flat. I'm not 3D in any of these because I don't really think it needs it. Um, I think once you once you add it down to your project, that's when I would add the 3D elements, but not before, um, because I, I just don't think it's I just don't think it's necessary. So these little sort of half moon shape pieces are the little. Um, I'd call them little bumpers that go on the on the bottom of the handle down here. Don't worry about your glue oozing because you can take that off once that's dry, and it'll dry clear anyway, so it's not going to be it's not going to be too bad. Make sure you've got your card the right way. Obviously, there's a there's a right and a wrong way, especially if you're using texture card. It's easy to work out which is the right way and which is the wrong way. But it really is easy to put together. It's a tiny bit fiddly, but it's so worth it. It really is. So then these two little pieces here are the um, buttons that go next to the plus minus sign, the plus sign. Again, I've no idea what they do. I just know they're there. I'm pretty certain it's um, a sort of a enter and um, exit or you know those sorts of buttons a start and a stop or a I don't know jump don't jump the controllers of for sort of like um, computer games have changed so much like since since my daughter was using sort of controllers like this things have changed they call it improvement i'm not sure it always is but i just um i just go with how i remember them so that's most of the the, the little sort of controller handle put together now these two little pieces here will sit at the top here if i show you the picture they're these pieces here Okay, and they are small, but I really don't think it's any harder to use these than it is to use any of the other pieces. So I'm going to add my glue to the back of the handset rather than to the pieces that I'm going to add down here. And don't forget that you want the front of your card facing downwards because obviously you're adding it to the back of your handset. So just actually glue to that side because it follows round the shape of those pieces follows the handset round. So if you just flip it back, you should still be able to see that at the top, like so. So we just add a tiny bit more glue down this end, and then I know it's not gonna it's not gonna fall off. So there's my two my two little extra pieces probably put that one a little bit far down but it'll be fine the overall the overall effect will be perfect okay so that's my little handset and then i'm going to put the headphones together now there are four one two three four pieces to the headset okay these pieces I've put as a different colour on this one. I haven't put them as a different colour on all of them. Um, but it, again, I think it's personal choice. It's totally up to you how you put these together and what colours you use. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. It, it's exactly what you want it to be at the, uh, at the end of the day. Like I said in my event post, it's not just for boys, you know, because girls love gaming too. In fact, 
there are some girls that are way better than way better than boys at it but it's just about it's just about having fun i think i think this set is is such a delightful set to use you can let your imagination run wild i wanted to do um a space invaders background and i've i've tried to think of all sorts of ways of actually making the little um space invaders you know the little things up at the top and then i thought then i'm gonna have to draw a rocket that fires the the, the um, ammunition at them so i gave up in the end i will have no doubt i will come up with something at some point but not today okay and then i'm just going to put the final little bet on here and this bit for me brings these to life because i thought up until this point i thought they don't really look like headphones but when you add this piece on it just makes all the difference it's just such a tiny little piece but it really does make a difference i think it's fabulous okay so that's my last little piece on there and then i can add this to the card base that i've already made for it okay so there's my handset and my headset out of that little fabulous die set right so here's the background that i've done for this particular set okay and these are from that that fabulous little stamp set that i showed you that i've cut loads out of and these sayings they're just they're just brilliant because i've heard my boys say every single one of these at some point especially this one just five more minutes mummy no <laughs> okay so you can see here that i've i've actually used two of the little leads okay because i wanted to i wanted to connect the headphones and the um handset together but obviously i didn't want them this close together i wanted them quite a way apart so i've added two together and i've used the sentiment to hide the join because i just think it's i just think it it works okay so my headset is going up there so my lead is going to my headset and my handset's coming down here and my lead is coming to my handset so i just think putting the two together and hiding the join with a sentiment is um is a good idea so let's just put this down again i'm not doing this 3d either i'm doing 3d on some of the others but not this one now you see this background have you all seen lisa's little video for the interference inks and making backgrounds with them because that's where i've had this idea from and there's about I don't know three or four different ink pads that I've used on there but it's just so much fun to put it down on your acrylic block um, and just add some water and just smoosh it on your card and then let it dry and I just think it makes a fabulous background I think it's I think it's dead dead clever and it it really sort of adds to the the set that you're using so that's my first one um and i'm i'm really chuffed with the background because when i was making it i thought i don't know whether i like this i don't do grungy i don't do messy really um so when i when i sort of saw lisa's video i thought no oh, i don't think i'll bother having a go at that but <laughs> i had to so that's my first one and if I show you, the only other thing I used for that was this set. And I've just used the largest rectangle to cut my um, background out of. So that's the only other thing that I've used extra to the bundle. And on this one, the extra things that I've used are the nested flags, um, which I know a lot of you have. I've also used the skinny alphabet. I wanted to use the large stitched um, um, alphabet, but... It, it won't fit on my card and i didn't want to use a capital for the from the large stitched 
and the rest from the skinny. So I wanted it all to be the same. So I've used the skinny one and then I've also used the large stitch numbers as well. Okay, so I've already done the name because I thought the name would take me longer than anything else. And I've already done my stenciled background. Now, believe it or not, this is Strawberry Sunday. I know it doesn't really look like Strawberry Sunday. It looks like um, pink, so sugar candy or, you know, like I didn't want it to be too red, but I didn't want to use pink because he's a lad. So I've used red. It is red, I promise. Because red's his favourite colour, that's why I've gone for red. So I've used the nested flags and I've made a couple of flags. One that I'm going to add um, just straight onto the card base and one that I've put 3D pads on the back that I'm going to sit on top of the other one. Now you'll notice that I've used the cover plate on this one um, and I've just cut it in black and I've backed it onto um, Lisa's holographic card because I just think it gives a really nice effect. So one's going there and the other one's going on top. So let's add this one down flat. And then when I've put this one together, I've got two others to show you that are a little bit different. So put that one down there. And I've, I've placed all this out before, so I know where it's all going. Eat, sleep, game, repeat. It's good, isn't it? And that it, do you know that just sums up Carter's life? It really does. Because if he could get away with just doing that, he really would. Right, so this one's going level because this is going to have my sort of sentiment on, as it were. So, he's 10 this year. I can't believe he's 10 this year. I don't know where the time has gone. I really don't. It doesn't seem five minutes since he was since he was born. But perhaps that's a, more a sign about my age than, than his age. What do you think? So I'm going to 3D the numbers just because I want them to stand out. And again, like I say, these are Lisa's large stitch numbers and I've cut them out of Lisa's glitter card as I have done with that flag. That's Lisa's black glitter card. So the, the pack of black and white that she bought out, that's what that's from. Um, haven't got much black left, actually. Never mind. Right, so let's put my zero down first and then I can place the one next to it in the right place. I do hope he likes it. I'm sure he will. He's got two choices, hasn't he, really? He'll either like it or he won't. So, my sentiment is want that one and i liked this one because i thought it sort of said two things it sort of says yes he's a gamer and he's unlocked the next level but i also thought it went well with the fact that he's 10 this year so it's like the next stage do you know what i mean it's um double figures so i just thought it worked in in two ways really so we put the birthday boy at the top and again I'm going to 3D this and I'm using glue rather than pads because I don't want to keep cutting my pads up. So my birthday boy at the top and then this is going along here but it will hang off the edge so I need to make sure that I don't put glue too far near the, too close to the edge because it's going to hang off here. So that's going there. And I didn't want it to sit in the middle. I wanted it to look sort of not, not symmetrical, if you like. I don't really like symmetrical. My eat, sleep, game, repeat is going down here. And I've done pads for this one because it's, it's more solid. And I've done two layers just so that it's all sort of the right sort of um, level. So that's my main sentiment. And then you can see I've already glued this together so that it saved me a bit of time, really. Um, so I've glued the 
the wire onto the back. I've put my pads on the back and I've also put pads on this. And I might have to trim this bit because it's um, it's quite narrow that, that lead. But I didn't want to leave it with nothing, with no support. I suppose I could have used 3D glue really. But So this one is going here. And then we can add the others down. Like so. And let me just see if I need to trim that. Probably do. I find I might take it off. I might take it off and use a bit of 3D glue instead. So let's flip that over there. Hold it down there and then just put a bit of glue on the lamp instead. Because I think it will be less obvious. Be less obvious if I use less, I suppose. Okay. So let's go down with that. There. And then my 3D glue will just give that a tiny little bit of height there. And then I've just got one more sentiment to add. Because this is just so Carter. Just five more minutes. I think that is fabulous. So let's just put this down as a finishing touch. And then I'll just show you the other two cards that I've done. Okay. So that's going there. So that's Carter's 10th birthday card. You better like it. I like it. I think it's cracking. And it's red and black and that's those are just his colours. And I just I just think it's I just think it's a fabulous, fabulous set. So let me just show you the other two. Just put that one there for a minute. Move this one out of the way. Now this one, I've used the brickwork embossing folder and the bubble squares, okay? And again, this one was for a girl. And one of my favourite games, when I get a chance to play games, which isn't very often these days, is Tetris. So I thought I'd try and have a go at doing something similar. So that's why I used the brickwork stencil. Uh, embossing folder sorry and I've just cut it out and coloured it in different colours and then I thought do you know what this set although it's a gamer set it isn't necessarily just for gaming so I went through my stash which is quite extensive and I thought oh I know I'll use the gnomes so that was the other one I made and I've only used the headset on this one and I just thought it was it was dead cute and it fitted this perfectly. So I've coloured the name in and cut him out. I've coloured the speaker and cut that out. Used two of the um, musical notes. And of course this set, um, where is it? This one, you get a die for everything. So it makes it so easy to just cut all those out. So, you know, stamp them all, die cut them all, and then you've just got them ready to colour. Um, and I've used the uh, small nested stitch rectangles just for my background and then I've used the layering abstract squares to do the background on that on that small rectangle and you can see that I've used the stars stencil in the background as well and then the sentiment is from the essential words um, and I've used the just for you but I've split it down because it's because it's written in such a way that you can actually split it so I've just cut it down into three separate words, just so that it's it's sort of spread out and it fits the card better, really. So there you go. There are four cards there that are all a little bit different, not all totally the same. Yes, they all use the same set, but I think it just shows how versatile they all are um, for using in, in different ways. So you don't have to use it as a gamer set. Think about what else you've got in your stash and use it for something different like I've done there. And I, I just think it is 
one of the best sets that Lisa's ever bought out. I think it's a cracking idea. Um, and I, I just think it's it's great for kids of all ages. And I do mean all ages, um, you know, from six to 46, because there are people out there of that age that love gaming. So, you know, it's it's versatile and useful for so many people. So thank you very much for joining me once again. It's great to see so many of you here. Um, and I'll see you back here on Monday. So have a fabulous weekend, everybody. Bye now. Mm -hmm.